Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen. Today we've had a request for Shepherd's Pie by a lady of the name of Tracy. Uh, I think her YouTube name is Belted007, but I think her name's Tracy. Uh, I think I don't actually I'm not sure where she's from. Um, I think she's from the East Coast, probably Sydney or Melbourne. But anyway, she's asked for Shepherd's Pie. I haven't made Shepherd's Pie for a while, so I thought, okay, cool, I'll give it a go. So that's what we've got today. Shepherd's pie. Okay guys, shepherd's pie. Um, it is also known as a cottage pie as well. Um, so if you haven't heard of shepherd's pie, you've probably heard of cottage pie and that's what it's called sometimes in the rest of the world. Uh, I know there's different parts of the UK and England and all that sort of thing that you know they call it cottage pie, we call it shepherd's pie. I'm not sure what the Americans call it, I assume they call it shepherd's pie as well. But in any case, it's basically some mince, uh, some beef chuck mince here, uh, with some vegetables that have you know that are cooked down. They're laid flat on a um, on a uh, on a pan, and we mash some potatoes, put the potatoes over the top, some cheese, and we grill it, or we put it in the oven to crisp up. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some beef chuck, okay, that's minced up into some sausage mince there like that again it's an 80-20 split that's the usual one I buy um, some potatoes, onion some seasoning, just some meat seasoning some garlic we've got some carrots we've got some baby peas now the reason why I use baby peas is they're quite sweet uh, and I prefer, the, I prefer the flavor to the normal peas and we're also going to use some roast beef red wine gravy. Now you don't have to use the red wine one, I'm, that's just the one I had, so that's what I'm going to use. Now basically what it is, and I don't usually like using it, but in this instance I'm going to, it's an instant gravy mix and we're going to put that in with our uh, beef mixture and while it's cooking in the oven it's going to just thicken up. Okay, so it's, you're not using flour or, or cornstarch or anything like that, you know, you just, or corn flour I should say, you're just using, you know, this stuff so it's it's full of flavor like I said it's easy to do um, you know it's not the best way to make gravy but I just want a powdered gravy for this so you need some cream for the mash and some butter and you're also going to need some grated tasty cheese so first things first what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel our potatoes peel our carrot chop it chop you know all the vegetables up and then we're going to fry off our beef Okay guys, we've got our uh, pan here, we've just put some uh, vegetable oil in there, so what we're going to do, we're going to sauté off our onions and our garlic paste. Now, you've got to do the onions first because it just really brings out their flavour and it's, and it's just the, the base or, or like the foundation when you're building a dish. Um, you, you've got to do the onions first because it really brings out a great flavour and especially this. If you just put the onions in with everything else, you're not going to get that same flavour. So. We're going to put our onions in, okay, like that. And some garlic paste as well, alright. And we just want to stir that around, mix everything up. Okay, we're going to put in our carrot now as well, okay like that. Just give that a stir. Put our beef mince in there. You just want to just sprinkle it over like that. It will all break up, don't worry. 
Okay, we just want to track bits in like that. Just want to put a bit of uh, beef seasoning in there like that. Some salt and some pepper. Just like that. These are really cool actually, they've even got a light at the bottom there. You can see like that, so you can actually see where you're grinding the pepper. I love gadgets. They're really cool. Okay. So, now we're going to put in our gravy mixture. Okay, so we just want to spread it around like that. You don't want it all in a big clump, okay? Just spread it around, just like that. Perfect. And then I want you to add in about two cups of water. Okay, and just again, just evenly distribute it around the dish, just like that. Okay, beautiful. Right, so we just want to move this around now. And what that gravy mix is going to do is going to thicken because this is all going to boil down. Okay, so we're going to put this on a high heat. We're going to let this simmer down, reduce, and we're going to be left with a beautiful, thick gravy and beef here. And as soon as that's done, we'll add in our peas. Okay, guys, we're going to do our potato mash. Okay, we've got our potatoes here. I'll just put them in there. Okay. Now, just a couple of little things. We want to just get some cream. Okay, pour some cream over there. You want to get some butter. Just break the bits of butter up like that. Just chug it straight in. Okay. We want to get some, just a little bit, just a tiny bit of cheese. Okay. Just a tiny bit of cheese. And of course, the secret behind any good potato mash, lots of salt. Okay. I'm going to pull the salt over there like that. Also want some pepper as well. Okay. Rightio. Now we just want to mash this through just like that until it's nice and creamy. It smells beautiful. I wish you were here to smell it. Because it smells fantastic. Okay, just a last bit of that. Spread it over there. Right. Then you want to get your mash. Okay. Just put your mash straight in the middle. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Oh, that mash is fantastic. Right. Okay, now we just want to push the mash all the way to the edges, okay? Just want to push that all the way to the edges. Okay, look at that. Now, do it with a fork because I think a fork gives it this nice homemade look. But also, when you do it under the grill, or in my case I'm doing mine in the oven, if you just score it like that over the top, you get these nice crunchy bits. This goes into the oven in a really hot oven. Uh, you know, I'm talking sort of 250, 280 degrees. And um, brown it off. Because everything's cooked, you just want the, the top nice golden brown. So we're going to chuck this in and we'll bring you back when it's all done. Okay, so just get straight in there like that. Get a whole spoonful, lift it up. It all come away and look at that okay got all that gooiness underneath there you can see with all the carrots just have a look at that okay you got all the nice crusty potato on the top that is to die for you can serve that with anything you want or do what I do and just have it by itself it's absolutely fantastic give it a go you are gonna love it you take care and I'll catch you next time.